hello welcome to Jenny's Food Network it's been such a long time since I've made a cooking video but today we are making like a Grecian style we're making a Grecian style chicken and I highly recommend um, chicken leg quarter cut okay mm -hmm. because drumsticks you have to kind of rotate them because there's skin all around it but leg quarters there's only skin on one side mainly okay so you don't really have to flip it Okay, here I have a 10 pound bag of chicken leg quarter split into two trays. I already washed it and trimmed out the tail end of it. So the skin will be facing up. And I have this on a tripod, so if you could bear with me. Okay, what I have is um, one whole line sliced in half. And over here. I will season it with, um, sprinkle a little bit of vachetta. I don't want it too salty, so just be careful with vachetta seasoning because if you put too much, it's going to be salty, okay? And I kind of like the flavor of, like, steak seasoning, the Montreal steak <laughs> seasoning because if you read the ingredients, get some good stuff that I like, so. But, you know, you might think that it's too grainy. You might think it's too grainy in here, but when it gets wet, it kind of, like, dissolves a bit, you know, so it won't be too, like, grainy te type of texture. And also, this right here, I told my husband Freddie to buy me some fresh basil, rosemary, and thyme. And those are kind of hard to find, especially rosemary and thyme. Not a lot of store always carry those, you know. Well, I'm sorry, they didn't have thyme there, so I told Freddie to substitute with basil. I mean, you can be creative. I mean, I could have added cilantro, but... I already use cilantro in a lot of my cooking sauce, in my sauces, you know, when I cook. So I wanted to stay a little bit from the Asian style barbecue sauce that I usually make, you know. So I didn't want to use cilantro. So here we have basil, rosemary, rosemary, and oregano. Yes, you have. Um, I'll be using fresh chopped oregano. Um, I know, and right, right here, to really preserve it, because usually it's hard to find certain type of herbs, you know, at the grocery store. So you could ch chop them real finely and put them in olive oil. Or whichever type of oil that you like, that you'll be cooking with. So this is olive oil. This is a, this is a 32 ounce container, which is about equal to 4 cups. So this is olive oil with chopped fresh oregano, basil, and rosemary. But too bad they didn't have thyme at the grocery store. And this will, and make sure you refrigerate this, okay? And, and make sure you cap it with a lid. And the oil will definitely preserve it. You can also preserve chopped garlic, you know, and chopped ginger as well. It will really preserve it good. Make sure you use enough olive oil because one time I didn't use enough olive oil. And it kind of made my garlic mold a bit. So make sure, or it turns kind of green. So make sure you use enough olive oil, okay? And I just realized that I forgot to put chopped, you know, like minced um, fresh garlic. I highly recommend not to use um, powder garlic, powder ginger, powder lemongrass, or powder version of oregano, also thyme, or dill, or even rosemary, because the powder version is not the best. It's, it's best when it's fresh. And to preserve it, just chop it up real finely and put them in olive oil. That's the best flavor. Because those powder version is overly processed and a lot of the fresh enzymes and juices from it have already dried up and a lot of the nutrients have already been lost. So here it preserves the juices in its original fiber as well and it really preserves it and you'll get tons of flavor from this. Okay. I totally forgot to um, add the, to get my chopped garlic. So I'll do that later. But for now, I'll just show you this. Okay, so... To make a version of a Grecian chicken, I'm gonna go ahead. Let me turn my over. Oops, let me adjust this a bit. Let me move this up. Okay, angle it down. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and take a spoon and stir that mix. That's the chopped fresh oregano, fresh rosemary, and fresh yummy basil. I mean, you can be creative. Do whatever you like, whatever you feel that you want to put in here. But like I said, I did not want to add ginger in it because it might overpower the flavor. 
So I want like a Grecian flavor chicken. So I'm going to stir that up real good. Mix up all those three fresh herbs in the olive oil. And I'm going to go ahead and drop that in. And as I drop some of it in, a little bit of time, drizzle on top. And then I'm definitely going to try, I'm going to definitely get like a, a, another spoon or a brush and brush it on more evenly. So when it bakes in the oven, it's going to bake more evenly, you know, with the seasoning spread across and the herbs being spread across. And when it browns, it'll brown more nicely, more evenly. So there we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom that in a bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and take one of these silicone brushes. They're really soft and they're really nice for brushing things over more evenly. So I wanted to brush it more evenly around because like I said, when you bake this, you bake it uncovered, okay? You do not cover it because if you cover it, it's gonna make your food kind of like boiled style, like it's more boiled and it's not gonna be nicely roasted in the oven, you know, to give that nice brown the browned look to it to give that yummier oven toasted look to it so you have to leave it uncovered okay so do not cover it with tin foil or anything because it needs to have that nice browned look to it so if I need to add more I will add more Some of it will drizzle down to the bottom, which is fine. Okay. Okay, now we're going to come to the other side now. And when you do bake this, you bake it at 350 degrees, okay? So you can go ahead and when you're almost done, you can go ahead and whenever you feel ready, when you're almost ready, go ahead and preheat your oven at 350 degrees, okay? And you can put it towards the middle of the rack area. You don't want to put your rack up too high because it might burn it before really cooking it. So make sure your rack is settled at the middle as possible of your oven. Okay, so now that I had evenly spread the olive oil mix with the fresh herbs. Okay, let me move it to this one. This one has more lighting. Here we go. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle some 
vachetta seasoning here. Okay. Like I said, I don't want to put too much because it's going to get it too salty, okay? And the cheddar, I'm just going to have a nice light sprinkle of it on there. Just to give the chicken some flavor. And I will do the same thing for this side as well. So I also, as I mentioned earlier, I do like, you know, the steak seasoning. Like I said, I'm just gonna use a bit of that because at the restaurants they do have like this really nice seasoning. But like I said, don't use too much because that might overpower it. So I'm gonna go ahead, sprinkle that in a bit. Like I said, I just had putting on very lightly and I don't want it too salty either. Same thing for this one over here. seasoning mix with the um, olive oil. I have put the steak seasoning in it and also the vachetta. And now I could go ahead and squeeze. I had used a whole lime. Okay, so I cut it in half. So I'm going to squeeze one on top of each. Okay. Here we go. So it gives it some of that nice lemon flavor. And you're gonna bake it for about, since I had used two trays of lake quarters, I'll put it in for an hour and a half, okay? And since I'm using two trays, so halfway through of baking it, I'm going to go ahead and rotate the trays, okay? Oh yeah, I should have used my lemon squeezer because lemons do have seeds, so. I forgot to use my lemon squeezer and this is the bomb. And because it kind of helps collect the seeds in here, so I'm gonna, it doesn't make your hands so messy. So I'm gonna put this in here and squeeze the juice up. So much easier and so much cleaner. So I'm gonna squeeze the lime juice over it Make sure you use the fresh lemons, okay? Do not use the bottled 100% lemon juice in a bottle. I normally just use that for dessert sometimes, you know? But don't use the, um, the bottled version of, you know, concentrated like lemon juice, you know? They taste different. And one time I ran out of um, limes and lemons. I did not have any. So I used um, one of those bottled you know, lemon juice, it destroyed my sauces. It made it taste like very chemically, very weird, you know? So it really jacked up my sauce. So don't use the concentrated lemon juice in a bottle. Make sure that you use um, the real lemon juice, like the fresh squeezed one. Those bottled ones taste like chemicals, so don't use it. Okay, now I'm going to use the second half for the other one. Okay. Okay. 
And I normally like to like fold it in half, you know, fold it in half and then squeeze it down and you're going you're gonna to get even more juice so you don't waste it. It gives you lots of juice doing that. Okay, here we have it. Squeeze the living nightmare out of that lemon. Okay. So there you have it. We're going to put it in the oven, preheated for 350 degrees, and we're going to put it in for a, an hour and a half, but halfway through I'm going to rotate the trays, okay? Move the bottom tray of chicken and then put the top tray in the bottom, okay? So make sure you rotate if you use a lot like me. If you're just using one tray, then you know, then you don't need to rotate it, okay? But since I'm using two trays, I'm going to, well, if you're using one tray, you could probably put it up for an hour or hour and 15 minutes and make sure you double check it to make sh to see how browned it is. So, and some ovens may vary. So for me, I'm going to put it in for an hour and a half, but halfway through, I'm going to switch it top to bottom, okay, vice versa. And I'm going to check to see how brown it gets, okay? All right. Stay tuned for the next video. Thanks for watching. Hello, welcome back to Jenny. Jenny's Food Network. Here, I had added the minced garlic, and I had added some. I had added in the um, the herb oil thing that I had prepared with, and I added some of that in with the minced garlic. You know, like the rosemary, the basil, and the oregano, the fresh chopped one, soaked in olive oil. I had mixed that in with the fresh chopped garlic, and I had mixed it together a little bit, and then I had topped it in. It's kind of like the yellow pieces. Those are the um, minced chopped garlic. I did that for both trays of leg quarter. Okay, so there I have it at 300, um, 350 degrees in my oven. And so, here we go. In the oven, I had um, pre-baked some... I need to get my gloves. Just a moment. Okay. I had pre-baked some sweet potato, it's so yummy. It needs about two hours of baking. If you bake it for one hour, it's still not enough, you know? So I'll show you later when it's ready, along with the Grecian chicken. So I'm gonna put it at the very bottom while it's baking. Okay, so here's the first tray. I'm gonna put in the upper part towards the middle, and I'm gonna bring the other tray as well. As you can see, here's the second one, just right underneath it. So right now, I'm baking three different stuff. Well, the first two trays, let me take this out of the tripod, okay, to get a better idea. Here's the first tray of Grecian chicken, and here's the second tray of Grecian chicken. And the bottom is um, cinnamon sugar sweet potato, so yummy, and you'll see later. Okay, so it's at 350 degrees. I'm gonna bake it for an hour and a half total and see how it browns. But like I said, halfway through, I'm gonna rotate the two top trays, okay, of chicken so it browns more evenly. Okay, so let's set my timer. We'll do, I'll just set it right now for an hour and a half, you know? And then halfway through, I'm going to an hour and 30 minutes, okay? So when it goes halfway, I'm going to switch the trays. All right, stay tuned. Hello, hello, hello. Here we have it. 10 pounds of chicken leg quarters, Greek style oven baked chicken. Isn't that amazing? So what I had done was, based on doing two trays, about five pounds each tray of leg quarters, and I never even have to flip it, so I highly recommend using chicken leg quarters. Don't use drumsticks. You can if you want, but drumsticks, you have to flip it because there's skin all around it. It would be gross if you didn't flip it, you know, to even it out. But leg quarters are cut in a way where the skin is more on the top surface area. The bottom is mainly it's just the meat and the bones, you know. So leg quarters are the best to use for baking compared to like, um, well, the skin makes the meat taste even better, too, and plus leg quarters are more like some dark meat area, so that has more flavor. Okay, so 
here we have it. Let's zoom up. There we go. Look how beautiful that looks. There we go. Mmm, look at that. Okay, so, like I said, the seasoning that I had used, look how nice that is. So what I did was, for doing 10 pounds, to split into two trays, about 5 pounds each tray, um, at 45 minutes, Okay, so what I did was, so I baked it for an hour and a half originally that I wanted to do, but then halfway through, I had to um, switch the trays, you know, so it browns more evenly. So once it hit to the 45th minute, I would switch to trays, and then when I baked it up to the an hour and a half total, I wanted to brown more. So then I increased the temperature from 350 degrees to 375 degrees. And, and I baked it for another 20 minutes, okay? And make sure you check it to see if it's getting too brown. And because you don't want your herbs to be too overly burnt, you know? So make sure you monitor it after like 10, like, like about 8 to 10 minutes. Make sure you check, you know, check it. And then you could rotate the trays again and take the other one out or something or... If it needs to be browned more, then, you know, just check. I mean, just be, you know, it's common sense, you know, just trial and error, you know, when you start first tr trying. I mean, once you try, like, cooking a different style of food, I mean, just give it a try. It's not going to be perfect, you know, but it will still turn out decent at least. So here we have Grecian chicken, and here we have the sweet potato. I, I took half of the sweet potato out to give some to Freddie's parents to eat, so... Okay, there's our dinner, and we're gonna eat it with like some lemon slices on the side with white jasmine rice. It's gonna be so yummy. All right, thanks for watching, and this is a very delicious way of cooking and making um Greek style chicken. Okay, thanks for watching. Okay, so here you have it, Grecian style chicken, so delicious, with some lemon slices to decorate on a pretty plate. You could eat it either would eat it with like garlic bread or pita bread, but for us we eat a lot of white jasmine rice more, so we're gonna have it with that. So delicious. <laughs> Thanks for watching.